Trust Wallet is on track to do a 200x from when we first spoke about it. But today we want to cover how do you manage your position from A to Z, entry to exit, maximizing your returns, becoming risk free as soon as possible so you can sleep well at night. So if you like today's content, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. If you don't know me by now, my name is Jiggy. I'm the award-winning author of The Extraordinary New Venture Capital Opportunity, How to Invest Like a Pro. Been featured in the best-selling book, High Probability Trading Strategies, back in 2008. Robert Miner, awesome guy when it comes to Elliott Wave and Fibonacci, one of the best on the planet, one of my mentors. But today, we are going to focus on you and your exit, entry to exit, entry to exit, entry to exit. So let's dive straight in. So we've been speaking about Cross Wallet, right? Cross Wallet's been the focus. Um, it's a low market cap gem solving a very big problem. But today, we covered that in the last two videos. So you've seen everything there. Cross Wallet, one wallet to rule them all. Very, very strong project. But what is your exit strategy? Yes, we now got our entry strategy. We bought under 5 million market cap. If you saw the video earlier and you took action, you would have maybe even bought under... 3 million or maybe even under 2 million market cap. But we're looking to ride this up to 100 million, 200, 300 million market cap. No guarantees here. There is always, always, always risk. And we want to go, how do we manage that risk? And this is what we're going to talk about today. So, you know, I covered the other day, the price target for Cross Wallet to match Trust Wallet in terms of size of the project. You know, we need to see a price movement that's going to go to the upside. Now, is it best practice to just wait for that maximum price and then to sell? I'm going to say no, because in this game, there's no guarantees. In fact, best practice is to assume you're going to be wrong. Yeah, and then you can do proper risk management, take risk off the table, because Warren Buffett said it best. He said, rule number one is never lose money. Rule number two is never forget rule number one. Right, and that's what we're going to focus on today. So the first thing you want to do, now one of my mentors taught me when it was coming to trading and investing, it's the same with any business, you have to make decisions. But he said, look, a trade plan or an investment plan or a business plan does not guarantee success, does not guarantee success. But the lack of one does guarantee failure. Plan does not guarantee success, but the lack of one does guarantee failure. So we want to get that probability on our side all the time and use as many things as we can. So today we're going to focus initially on price targets, exit strategy, exit, entry is all well and good. A lot of people in crypto, you know, especially in 2017, would have made a lot of money. And even in the first half of this year or the first quarter of this year would have made a lot of money, but they don't know when to exit. You may not know when to exit. So then the market pulls back down and you give those profits back. We don't want to give profits back. We want to lock them in. And that's what we're going to focus on. So. Today, I'm going to give you an example. We're going to use Cross Wallet as the example because that's been the last couple of videos that we've been doing. Let me just move myself a little to the left. So with Cross Wallet, the entry price. I'm going to use the example. When I first brought the video, when I launched the video in my private Telegram group, by the way, if you want to join, you can take my free Elliott Wave, um, Elliott Wave and Fibonacci Masterclass. It's phenomenal in itself because it's going to let you measure the psychology of the market and it helps when we're doing these kind of strategies. Uh, if you buy one of my courses, you get invited to my private Telegram group where you get exclusive premier access. But if you saw the video initially, the price of Cross Wallet was 0 0.0134137, give or take. And now it's currently, today it was around 0 0.032, 33, thereabouts. Um, so it's hovering in that region. But for this example, let's just say we managed to purchase our Cross Wallet tokens, our position at the price of 0 0.02. And what we want to do ahead of time is we want to plan. When do we want to exit our first position, our first part of our position? Yeah, at what multiple? At what return? What's the price target? And we want to set an alert for that target so it's very mechanical and objective. And then how much of our token percentage do we want to sell and why? Right. So I'm going to give you an example. Doesn't mean this is the way, the only way to do it. You can play with the numbers. You can be a bit more aggressive. You can be a bit more conservative. You want to exit a bit sooner. You want to be, exit a bit later. So exit one, I'm going to bring up a laser here as well so I can make this really, really clear. Let me get myself out of the way here. Well, all right, so exit one, what we're saying here is we want to get risk-free, right? 
then once you're risk-free, it means you cannot lose money in the position. Right? And that is a beautiful place to be. And in this example, we're saying at 10x, because we bought Cross Wallet at a very, very, very low market cap, 10x is highly probable, highly probable as a minimum case scenario. You can change it to a 5x, you can change it to a 3x, whatever you want. But in this example, I'm just using a 10x. 10x from the entry price is 20 cents. So we're going to set a price alert. I'm going to show you how to do that later on. I'm going to show you how to use CoinGecko doing price alerts. Percentage of tokens. Well, if it does a 10x, if we sell 10% of all of our tokens, we'll become risk-free, right? So it's very mechanical, it's objective, it's planned ahead of time, and it's non-emotional, right? And a 10x is a very healthy, that's a thousand percent. But because we're anticipating and planning for a 100x and a 200x, because we bought very, very, very early in this very young project that has high potential, we can go, okay, 10x sounds quite reasonable. But again, change it to 3x, 5x, whatever suits you. Then we want to say exit two. All right, exit two. We'll go, right, 20x. 20x, we want to exit 30% of our total tokens. And 20x, the price, the token price will be 40 cents. Why? Because the entry price was 0 0.02 times 20 is 40 cents, right? Set a price alert. When it triggers, bang, we go. We sell 30% of our initial tokens. Exit three. Again, change these numbers that suit you. I'm just giving you this as, as an example. 50x, which is $1. Again, 50 times 2 cents is $1. Sell 30%. And then exit four, which will be the remainder of the position, 100x, meaning two cents times 100 is $2. Now, we're anticipating a 200x. So if we put this as 200x, this will be $4. So you can kind of do the math. Yeah. But again, it, it depends on your buying when, when you bought. If you bought at 0 0.03, it's different than if you bought at 0 0.035, so to speak. Or 13, should I say. Um, and what you'll notice, 10 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 is 100. So here will be a full exit strategy. So here's entry and here's full exit. Now I want to make this really, really clear. So you, you, you have it clear. So we're going to focus on exit one first. Um, I don't know if you can see this on my screen. It might be slightly off the screen. Um, I'll read it out anyway. Um, if we invested, in fact, can I change this? Let me just change this. Um, yeah, let me just change this. Hold on two seconds. Let's see if I can change this. You're going to see the whole thing here. I'm just going to move this slightly down. Um, just because I'm cutting off this the screen slightly. Give me two seconds. All right, just so you can see this. If we invested a thousand dollars, right? You might have done more, might have done less, but just let's just use an example of a thousand dollars at the price of a 0 0.02. At the price of 0 0.02, you'll get 50,000 tokens. Right? How do you do the math? 1,000 divided by 0 0.02 gives you 50,000 tokens. And what we said at exit one, we want to exit 10%, right? 10% over here, 10%, right? So sell 10%, 10% 10 of 50,000 is 5,000 tokens at 20 cents. Where do we get 20 cents from? What is this price here, right? And what we do is 5,000 tokens sold, which is 10% of tokens at 20 cents is $1,000. Now this is crucial. Crucial. Thousand dollars is a lot of money, is a little money. That's not the principle here. The principle here is that you've managed to get a 10x and exit your original investment. So you're now risk free and you still own 90% of the tokens. That is the biggest lesson that you want to take away from today's video. It is a beautiful place to be. You've ridden up a 10x. You've taken off 10% off the table, which is your original investment back in your pocket. It's the same math if you invested 10,000, if you invested 5,000, if you invested $500, whatever the amount. Just doing this and becoming risk-free is a really beautiful thing. So you want to get in the habit of becoming risk-free. Um, but again, you want to take it into the context. You don't, you don't need to do it too soon, but you don't also want to do it too late. All right, so now let's look at exit two. So exit two, what we said was, when price hits 40 cents, so price hits 40 cents, we want to exit 30%. We planned it ahead of time. This is key, key, key. We do not want to be in the place where the price is doing well and you kind of go, should I sell? Should I not sell? I feel like selling. Is it going to go higher? Is it going to go lower? That's amateur behavior. What we do is ahead of time, like weeks and months ahead of time, we can just set a price alert and have the plan ahead of time. And here we would have set, right, if and when the price hits 40 cents, we sell 30%. 
what is 30%? Well, 30% of 50,000 is 15,000 tokens. And then 15,000 times 40 cents would be 6,000. And here, this position, remember, risk-free now. This is all net profit. 6,000 plus, so you'll be net profit $6,000, only invested 1,000, plus 60% of your tokens you still own. Is this making sense? Hopefully it's making sense, right? Um, let me know how you find this, by the way, because what I found was with a lot of my students, if, if they're brand new to the game, no one teaches this. No one kind of gives a logical, methodical, you know, just objective, non-emotional plan. How do I plan in advance? And then you can have five different cryptocurrencies, 10, 20 in your portfolio, and manage your emotions because you've got a very, very clear plan. So let me know how you're finding this. Exit three, same thing, right? We say why, if and when it hits a dollar, we're setting it down to this price. Sell 30%, again, 30% is 15,000 tokens of your original amount of tokens, which is 50,000. Sell them at a dollar. 50,000 times a dollar is 15,000. So in this case, you'll get a further net profit of 15,000 plus your original 6,000. So you're now 21,000 in net profit and you still own 30% of your tokens. You've seen the power of this, right? So it's like ladder selling, but you're planning ahead of time and it's really, really sophisticated, but simple. Simple, simple, simple. And you can replicate this, which is important. And then exit four. Exit four, we say price of $2. You know, again, 30% is the remaining amount. So 15,000 times $2 is another $30,000. If it hits those price targets, doesn't mean it's going to hit the price targets. So that's why we're taking it in, in sections. Exit one, very conservative. Two, quite conservative. Three is a bit more aggressive. And then four is very aggressive. We're going for that full 100X, if not more. Sell so total of 51k um net. So why is it 51k? Well, okay, okay I move my, my my things, hence this is slightly off. But we got 1000 which made us risk free. We got 6000 which was our first net profit. We got 15,000 second net profit, and we got 30,000 third net profit, and that's a total of 51,000. 51,000 is 51x, right? So you might be thinking, what you get? We said 100x, right? The down there is 100x. Yeah, but we're selling at a 10x, we're selling at a 20x, we're selling at a 50x, and we're selling at a 100x. And we're making the conclusion ahead of time that we're not guaranteed a 100x, so we must sell, you know, become risk-free. But again, adjust the numbers. Some of you might be much more conservative and say, no, I want to be risk-free at a 3x. Some of you might say, Jigir, I've got no qualms holding to a 20x. I'm going to wait to a 20x to become risk-free. Whatever suits you best is your plan, is your decisions. But the main thing is that you have a plan. That's the main thing here. Let me know how you found this, by the way, because this was a lot of math. This is high level, but it's simple. It's simple. And anyone can do this. It's simple mathematics. Now it comes down to process. How do you manage the process? Because if Cross Wallet is your only cryptocurrency you bought, that's going to be pretty easy to do, right? You can just kind of keep track of it. But if you've got 10 in your portfolio, or you got 20 different cryptocurrencies in your portfolio. How do you manage this? Well, let me show you how I manage, I manage this. And it's quite very, very simple. So we need to use price alerts, right? Price alerts, very, very important. I use CoinGecko for my price alerts. You can also use CoinMarketCap. And then last but not least, I'm going to show you the staking feature. Some of you are re reading your comments. Some of you understand staking. Some of you don't understand staking. Some of you think I don't know, all types of different things with staking. So we're going to do a live demo. But with staking, what you want to think is if... The project, like Cross Wallet, is saying to you, we want you to stake your tokens because we need liquidity of your tokens. We've got a plan for those tokens. And as a thank you, we're going to give you 25% APY. When we launch our project, the fees that are charged within Cross Wallet, we're going to also take a percentage of that and give you some extra rewards. Why would we say no to extra tokens? So how you want to think about it is when you've bought your tokens, well, if you're not planning on selling anything until a 10x, well, what you can do with those tokens, we can either have them sitting in a wallet doing nothing, or you can put them into a staking account and earn 25%. But what I've written here is, for peace of mind, have, at the for the next exit, the amount of tokens that you require to sell liquid. So in our example, in the previous slide, we said exit one, exit one, um, we want, in this example, it was 50,000 tokens, and we are gonna sell 10% at 10X, but we want 5,000 tokens liquid, so just keep them in your wallet. And the other 45,000, you can just stake and earn 25%. And when you exit one, 
then you can actually unstake another 15,000 and keep the remainder 30,000 just staking earning APY. So I'm going to show you how to stake because that's been a common question. Um, I've heard a lot of people who haven't staked before. And uh, let's just do a live demo. So we're going to set a price alert on CoinGecko. Um, let's just make a note of the prices we want. I'm going to do, I'll, I'll show you two, right? I'll do, we'll do 20 cents, 40 cents and $1, right? We'll set three price alerts on CoinGecko and I'll show you how that works. It is a lifesaver. It's like having a 24 seven executive assistant. When the price gets hit, you get notified. Other than that, you don't need to look at the chart, right? Imagine, because you probably do this, right? If you like most people, look at the chart. How's it performing? And then you look at the chart again. And then five minutes later, you look at the chart again. Three hours later, you look at the chart again. You know, later in the evening, you look at the chart again. That's, that's, that's not a good life, right? Especially if you've got 20 tokens and you're constantly looking at the charts. Imagine if you just say, I only want to look at the chart if and when it hits 20 cents. If and when it hits 20 cents, that's when I want to be notified because that's when I need to take some action, which is sell 10% of my tokens. After that, I only want to be looking at the chart if and when it hits 40 cents. And then I get a notification and then I take the action. So we're now changing you from an amateur emotional wreck, if you like most people, which is normal, believe it or not. Fear of missing out, fear, uncertainty and doubt. Is it going up? Is it going down? Are the markets crashing? Are they going to launch? Is Oh, it's just a headache, right? We want to now step up your game to a business level. Business level where you go, I'm making my decisions ahead of time. They're non-emotional. They're objective. And when that price alert comes, bang, I act upon it. Plan your trades and trade your plan. Plan your investments and then execute your plan, right? That's what we're looking to do, right? So we're going to do 20 cents, 40 cents, and a dollar. Then I'm going to show you the staking. So let's just jump into a live chart. Yeah. Let me know how you're finding this, by the way, because this is more educational. I'm just finding it's the most common questions and you just don't know what you don't know and, and everything is difficult before it's easy. So this, that's, that's okay. So with CoinGecko, you first do need to create an account with CoinGecko. Um, and when I say create an account, just an email and username and they let you log in and they actually let you create a portfolio with some really cool functions. But what we're going to focus on today is the price alert function, right? I'm going to bring up, let me see if I can bring up this annotation, bang. The price alert on CoinGecko is this here. Boom, you see this bell? This here? All right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna click on it, it's gonna have a pop-up, and we literally just type in, what is the price where we wanna be alerted? When do we wanna be alerted that the price of that particular token has been hit? And then it just gives you a push notification, either on your browser, but if you also download the CoinGecko app and then log in, it will also give you a push notification. All right, so now you've got a 24 seven assistant that is telling you, right, Jagir, you need to take some action. All right, great. So all we do, very, very simple. You're gonna love this. If you haven't done this before, this is a game changer. We click the bell, pop-up comes up, and we just tell it. It's our 24-7 executive assistant. You go, hey, executive assistant, please can you notify me when Cross Wallet hits 20 cents? And then your executive assistant asks you, Jagir, do you wanna be notified once or reoccurring until you cancel the notification. I go, actually, just in case I miss it, could you make it reoccurring? And then we click save. Done. That's it. So for your exit one now, we do not need to look at the chart other than entertainment purposes until we get that push notification. Yeah, I'm hoping that's making sense because that's a game changer. That is like such high level and it will separate you from Everyone else, that's an emotional wreck. Yeah. Uh, then we go, okay, but what about exit two? We said 40 cents. Well, guess what? We just go, hey, cross wallet executive, you know, in CoinGecko, CoinGecko, our CoinGecko executive, executive assistant, can you also do the same if and when the price hits my exit two target? And they say, Jagir, what is your exit two target? I go, oh, it's, well, it's 40 cents according to my business plan. Oh, sure. Do you want it reoccurring? Yes, please. Safe. Boom. Now we've got our two exit targets. And then we say, oh, and by the way, could you also do the same if you wouldn't mind? You know, would you be so kind if you've read um, How to Win Friends and Influence People? Uh, would you be so kind and notify me, please, when it hits a dollar? Same question. Do you want it reoccurring or do you want it just a one-off? Have it reoccurring, please. And we can even do it for the fourth. You can even do it for the fourth and say, oh, could you also do the same for two dollars? Yeah, reoccurring, yes, please. Bang. Exit one, two, three, four. You're now on a level that most people never get to. 
because now you don't need to look at the charts. Even if you've done my courses on Elliott Wave and Fibonacci, which is high level of reading and psychology, take my free masterclass if you haven't already because it's phenomenal. If you want to get invited to my private Telegram group, just buy one of my courses. They're really cheap at the moment. They're discounted and you'll get invited and you'll get some of this access to this content early, especially when we're doing low cap market gems. But you're now on a different level because you don't need to look at the charts. But what you could do is when you get your notification, if you've got the skill set, you can look at the chart pattern to see need to act immediately or if it's a wave four and it looks like a wave five is going to form you can just adjust as a business decision actually it looks like it's going to make a higher high so rather than selling at 20 cents i'll sell at 25 cents because that's the high probability outcome yeah hopefully that's making a lot of sense to you but we just did that that was brilliant 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 so now next what we're going to do is we said right well only 10 percent of our tokens need to be liquid for exit one if you're doing a 10x for exit one well, for exit two, but well, we don't need those tokens yet. So we can just stake them and earn some APY. So we always want to see, does the project have a staking feature, a yield farming or staking account? And in cross wallet terms, it does. So we're going to go to the cross wallet website. But you notice that they're not advertising their staking account. You go on their website and they're not really saying anything about their staking account. Not really, right? You can't, they say they're going to do it. Um, they say some fees, airdrops, et cetera, et cetera. But there's no staking button. So you're like, how do I how do I stake my tokens? Well, you want to go to the Telegram. So we're going to click Telegram. It'll pop up. Um, you need to download Telegram on your PC if you want it to pop up on your PC. Otherwise, you need to do it on your phone if you need a Telegram app. We're going to open up the group. We click on the pinned messages and you'll see it has some information here and it says staking, right? Because we went through the website, we now should, should have confidence that this is the official Telegram for Cross Wallet. But it says staking, right? So we're now going to click this link. Yep, we'll say thank you. Yep, we'll open that. And then it takes us to the cross wallet staking account. And we go, great. Here it tells us the APY is 25%. It tells us how to do it. We're going to actually do this because a lot of people haven't done this before. So we're going to go through it step by step. And it tells us in the top left, it says stake, unstake, withdraw. Right? So we're actually going to stake and we're going to unstake just for today's example. So just so you know how it works, how long you have to leave it at stake for before you can actually take the action. So let's first stake. So first you need to connect your wallet. So I've just created a wallet for this and I go connect wallet. And it says in the top right hand corner, do you get you got zero cross wallet in this particular wallet? You got zero staked, you got zero unstaked and there's a window, I'll cover it in a second. And you got zero rewards. So first of all, you need some cross wallet. So we covered this in yesterday's video or the, the last video. Um, but what we're going to quickly do is just buy some cross wallet, right? So again, just a quick recap. Just gonna buy forty dollars in this particular wallet. Yep, we'll just swap at today's price. We'll get them for zero point zero three, which is three cents. We'll swap. <coughs> All right, let's just make sure we got some gas. So we got gas in this wallet. Yep, we have. Sometimes you'll notice that transactions don't go through on the decentralized exchanges, and sometimes it's because the slippage needs to be increased or the price needs to be adjusted. We just go for it again. So the second time, it was fine. So go, great, let's just swap. That is fine. And you'll see Cross Wallet will jump into this part of the account. It will see balance says 1,300. 1,300 Cross Wallet tokens, we go, great. Now, if we go back to the staking account, you'll see it shows up here, 1,300, right? So it's all decentralized. We're going peer to peer. We're going directly to the blockchain. There's no middleman here. So it's very, very fast, very, very efficient. So now we just follow the steps. So first we're going to stake these tokens. So let me just move myself. Let me move myself down here. Um, or uh, let me let me just move myself. Where should I move myself? I'll put myself here, right? Because uh, what we need to do is follow these steps. Checkpoints, amounts to stake, pre-authorization, confirm, confirmation. So it tells you the steps, right? That's what we're going to do. And it also confirms down here that you've got everything in play. It says you need to connect your MetaMask wallet. We've done that. You need cross wallet available to deposit. We've got that. We need BNB, which is the gas for the Binance Smart Chain. We have that in the wallet. Great. And eligible to stake. You cannot stake if you have active cross wallet unstake withdrawal request. Um, so if you're withdrawing or and it normally takes 24 hours, if, you, if, it's the, if you're in that process, it won't let you stake until that process is finished and then you can stake. Um, I have read the terms and conditions. Again, you can click there, read the terms and conditions. I've read them before. We go next. How much do you want to stake? We can either just click maximum, which is just say the maximum in your wallet, or if you want a more specific amount, you can type that in. We click next. 
We authorize the transaction. It costs a bit of gas. It costs us 16 cents in gas to do this. Because remember, there's no middleman here. So the blockchain needs gas to function. And in this case, it's BNB, 16 cents of BNB. We go, great. So we're now, we're done. We're at this part now. Now it says, can you please confirm? So let's just read this. In this next step, you you deposit the tokens into the staking account or contract. After this step, your tokens will be successfully staked. So up here, you can see that the staked token says zero. So we just want to click next. Again, every transaction requires a bit of gas. This time it's quoted in BNB, which is fine. It takes around 10 seconds, give or take. Any second now, it will pop up, or it should pop up in this state account. There we go, we're done. You're now earning 25% annual interest on your tokens. One of the other questions I've heard is, you know, how frequently do the rewards get paid out? Was daily. So you just see this daily, and it will just, every day, once a day, it will just increase at the rate of 25% annual APY. We go, great, click done, done. You've now staked your tokens, you have now got experience on DeFi, decentralized finance, meaning decentralized, no middleman, and we're staking and we're getting APY. Yeah, so that's thumbs up. Now what I want to do is just show you how to unstake. And you go, okay, let's just say we've done our exit one and we need to unstake some of these tokens for exit two. Let's just say we've done exit one, two, and three, and we've the, the remaining tokens are for exit four and we want to unstake 100%. So what we just simply do is we go to the unstake feature and it tells us, it says, after unstaking, you must wait 24 hours before you can withdraw your cross wallet tokens and rewards. Yeah, and that makes sense. So it goes, once we do this process, the tokens are not going to be liquid for 24 hours. 24 hours, very, very important. So we go, great. Yeah, we understand that. So let's just click next. Again, it gives you the, the confirmation checkpoints. We go, yep, that's fine. I've read the terms and conditions. Yep, that's fine. How much do I want to unstake? I want to unstake everything that's currently staked. Yep, that's fine. Next, confirm unstaking process. In this process, you will, in the step, you initiate the unstaking process. After a 24-hour waiting period, you'll be allowed to withdraw your cross-wallet tokens. So we have to wait 24 hours. It's smart contracts. There's no middleman. That's how it's programmed. These are the rules of the game. We go, yep, that's fine. We accept that. We need to do a transaction. Yep, that's fine. And then we should see that it just goes from staked here down to the middle part where it says unstaked. And it takes around 10, 15 seconds. So the Binance Smart Chain is faster than Ethereum. There we go. Now we've unstaked. And now it also tells us a timer. Look, it says here, withdrawals in. So our withdrawal is available in. 23 hours, 59 minutes, and 34 seconds. In other words, 24 hours. So you have initiated the unstaking process and started the 24-hour timer. If desired, you may check Binance Smart Chain to confirm the transaction. So we go, oh, that's all fine. Great. So we've now unstaked. So we staked, now we're unstaked. And then we go, once this timer is up, we'll go to the withdraw function. And again, we'll do the same thing. We just withdraw from the unstaked account, but we have to wait that 24-hour period. And then we just withdraw it. It goes back in the wallet in the top right hand corner where it currently says zero. It will show you cross wallet tokens and then you can do whatever you like on the secondary market. So there we go. Yeah, and once it's ready, but it seems pretty clear. So there we have it. There we have it. So now you have a clear entry to exit plan, not only for cross wallet, but for all tokens. You should be doing this for all tokens, whether it's high market cap, whether it's low market cap, especially if you're focused mainly on the bull run. As in, you know, whether it's going to end in December, January, February, March, if it's going to go to June, no one really knows yet. We'll get more inclination as more data unfolds and the price action unfolds. But you have a very, very, very clear entry to exit. First thing is get risk free. Set your target, whether it's a 3x, 5x, 10x, whatever suits you, your personality, every individual is different. It's more important that you have a plan as opposed to what exactly that plan is. Then set your exit two, three, and four. You might only have two exits. You might go exit one is risk-free and exit two is everything else. Well, you might have three exits. Exit one is 10% at 10X. And then I want to do 45% at exit two and exit three, the remaining 45% of the tokens. Yeah, so you get the picture 
of you have the autonomy, but you have to make those decisions. Let me know how you found today's video. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I want to bring you as much value as I can to set you up for success. Because remember, this book right, that was featured in, right, the, the author of this is an award-winning author called Robert Mine. I've been doing Elliott Wave and Fibonacci since the 80s. The 80s, guy's a legend. One of the best technical traders on the planet. But the book is called High Probability, Not Certainty Trading. It's probability. And when it comes to retail venture capital, when it comes to you know, buying young, low-cap gems, which have the potential, not certainty, the potential, we need to make sure we're managing everything. So let's finish on, I think, the relevant quote today. I think it's chapter, was it chapter two? Let's go to chapter two. Yeah, we said it earlier, but I'm going to do it again. This is my book. I think I published, it's on Amazon Prime, not Amazon Prime, Kindle. Kindle, I think you can get a physical one as well on Amazon. So this one with Warren Buffett. Rule number one, never lose money. Rule number two, never forget rule number one, which is never lose money. That's why we want to have the exit one, which is your risk-free, whether it's a 3x, 5x, 10x. Build it for you because you're the guy that's going to have to execute. You're the girl that's going to have to execute. Set your price alert so you don't have to constantly be um, an emotional wreck watching the markets every single moment of the day where it's drawing you in, drawing you in, drawing you in. You're having a conversation and your mind is like, I wonder what CrossWall is doing. I wonder if my price target's been hit. No, you want to have a great life, a great life, build up your financial health to give you a great life. So one of the reasons our company's called R15, because we, we, we do a lot of physical health, but we do also financial health. And it's to make, can, can we get it where you only need around 15 minutes a day? 15 minutes a day, get results in 15 minutes a day. So there you have it. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Let me know what you found most valuable from today's content. All right, see you soon.